We find ourselves in a extremely interesting spot, like a really interesting scenario now where Taki loses immediately and everything that he's worked for and believe that he has the potential of getting to and needing to do it now with Shinatsu around is kind of gone, you know, like that, that in itself just destroys him mentally and his confidence in general. So where does he go from here? Right. Does he continue to work on himself? Does he continue to work on his own ability and his skill set? Does he channel everything kind of within him here and utilize this failure as a a positive, as a stepping stone, as something that he can grow from and allow him to be stronger and better and, and do this next year? Is that really that important to him, right? We've talked about before so much how he needs to do it while she's here. But now having the chance that maybe you have to do it next year or maybe you have to do it the year after, is that the most important thing to you? Is it is winning in itself the most important thing to you or was it really with her around? And then priorities might have to shift a little bit, you know? So where do we go from there? Does he value it? Where does he value himself now? Does he think that he's worthy of being associated with her at all? Or does he need to isolate and separate himself and remove himself more from that situation does he ask the question that he had to ask before or does he feel that he's not okay being able to do so anymore there's plenty of things that are kind of up in up in the air here i guess now uh specifically regarding taiki and what his plan would be going forward which leaves me really intrigued and having the two successful ones essentially be the two girls in the scenario, I think, are awesome too. So I'm um, I'm excited to see what they do. I'd like to get some more focus, and I keep saying this, but I don't I don't think it's gonna happen on like Chinatsu and her own journey here. Uh, while she's like training and getting ready and trying to to win and go to nationals and all this stuff, right? Like I would like to get maybe a little more focus because we did build up entirely her. Uh, the setup that we had for her and the other school and the way that it made her feel and everything, but we didn't actually get to see her match at all. Um, I don't know if that match actually happened, though, because I know we had the conversation that said she was going to Nationals, but I don't remember in the conversation she had with Taiki if it specifically mentions if the top two teams are just her, like the winning team advances or like what the situation kind of is there. Uh, I know they did for badminton, but I don't know if they did for basketball, like if they mentioned exactly the, the specifics there. So uh, we'll have to, I guess, see. So if she already made it, then I am a little disappointed that we didn't get to see at least a little bit of that and maybe get some inner stuff from her to learn uh a little bit about where she was at and how she felt afterwards but if that hasn't happened then it could still happen this episode that'd be pretty cool but I i'm curious to see a lot of different directions that they plan to to head here so hopefully you enjoy if you like it all like and subscribe to me feel free to stick around for the discussion let me comment with this very series of episode nine play through this again run away brother run away That moment of relief to immediately turn into something else is so cool. The frustration within oneself. But also, I guess, could be not the same. I really like how all of the moments we get of him playing in the op2 or all against Hario, because then it doesn't necessarily feel like it spoils anything at any point right and you could be led to believe it's almost like the finals right like what they were intending for but it didn't have to be at all because they train so much together and they are doubles partners and it have so much going on throughout the story that it doesn't have to be so it works really well did he ever come home that night <laughs> なんで大会明けすぐにテストなんだよ。だからコツコツやれって。部活行くぞ。ああ、スクールだ。コツコツやるっていうのが一番難しいんだよ。Absolutely. <laughs> 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 <
She's locked in, bro. No, she's panicking. <laughs> I respect that. Leave her alone. <laughs> I was different. Okay. No. <laughs> no. He's still trying to. <laughs> No, they've definitely had the chance. It's more of a, a choice. Mm -hmm. Even if it's a plus for her. Congratulations, brother. よかったよかった。全枠さじかわに取られるのも尺だったし。そこ。ダブルスはしばらくお休みか。だろうな。まあ、you <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was saying at first the mistake was that he wants to go to Nationals. <laughs> Beat whatever. Uh, win. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's just the way things go. Why do I feel like Tigers is going to be some, like, depressing ass thing? It's not even going to be like, get better or make nationals. It's going to be like, cheer for Janatsu. <laughs> okay. That's not, that's, that's not bad. I like that a lot more. It's not like this big, like, overselling boast either. It's just something like, in specific to improve himself as a player in his game. You know, lock in, you're gonna lose. <laughs> you're gonna fail, you have to lock in. Does he go back in his room? <laughs> you keep doing you. Yeah, so he is avoiding. Exactly as... I expected. No, the result does matter. <laughs> I worked myself a lot. <laughs> that works because you've been avoiding her anyways. The trauma. Right, because you were distracted, but now you have nothing left, and the only thing to focus on is actually practicing. <笑><笑>あ、ダメです。俺今体調悪くて。うつったら大変なので出てって。いいから。病人は静かにしてなさい。<笑><笑> 
He reminds me of a big baby. <laughs> oh, hi. Just the way that they draw him. <laughs> I got rewarded. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say. His perfect vision of her being the perfect wife just got ruined for her. <laughs> yeah, whose fault is that? Are you trying to get rid of her? <laughs> Do you want to talk to me? I don't know if I can talk to you in the past. I don't know if I can talk to you in Not anymore. Unless he does. Unless he does. Can I あ、<笑> インターハイ出場って書くと思った。ところがいくつもあったし、インターハイは俺には遠すぎたのかもしれない。一年でインターハイの厳しさを知って、それでも挑戦する覚悟があったけど、俺はただ行きたい、勝ちたいってだけで身
tell like when you tell somebody that you're gonna do something or that you're gonna think a certain way, but that just because you say it doesn't like mean that you're actually gonna be able to do it, uh, type of thing, right? Just because he came to this conclusion with her and he kind of agreed to it and it sees exactly where she's coming from and thinks that she's in the right for what she's saying, uh, and how she feels and how she wants him to like kind of view things and do things doesn't necessarily mean that going forward he's going to actively like be able to do that and not be able to get this stuff out of his head and kind of struggle uh it's weird and like the the really unfortunate part about all of this is she's actually the root problem <laughs> and, and, and like every like chinatsu is the problem in every situation that's kind of occurring here um it's hard to it's hard to say because she's not like I don't mean it in the way that she's like, she's not the problem in the fact that he lost. Like, he lost because he just wasn't good enough, right? But she's the problem where it comes from. He has these expectations essentially set for himself due to the way that he wants to view himself or others to view him in comparison to her. And he struggles to view himself on a equal like level to her at any point, and he is struggling really hard because of that just in every other aspect uh it's the curse that many many go through where you compare yourself to somebody for so long or you compare just certain aspects of just you like your life of where you're at right it's a it's a big thing that happens especially when you're younger where you'll see people who are like of a certain age and they're doing certain things that aren't like that are more than what you're doing right and i've i've gotten to the point in my age where i'm at now where it's like i'll look at some other people who are like professional athletes or something now right and i'm like i'm like you're how much younger than me it's like it's like when i was that i just i was just, i just wanted to get out of high school or something you know what i mean like it was just it's always something like that something like that just you hate to do you hate that you have to like look at them or compare yourself uh or you're like at a certain age and you're like when this person was my age they were already doing this right when lebron james was my age he was already in the nba for for years on end it's like that's annoying like you you hate to see that and it makes you feel like you're doing absolutely nothing with yourself but at the end of the day i'm not fucking lebron james i i can't do it uh but it happens on like a more you know lower scale too where some people have like jobs that are really high paying and they get into things because they're just extremely smart or fortunate or have the right connections or whatever. And they can get a jump start on things a lot earlier than other people can. And then you compare yourself to them and it just kind of ruins everything around you. And you live so much more freely and don't have to feel that when you do compare yourself. But comparison can be really strong, right? It can be the thing that drives you to be better as a person uh, and just become something more special over time uh it's a issue that happens where sometimes you surround yourself a lot of one of those sayings what is it like you are who you surround yourself with or something and it's one of those where like if you surround yourself with a bunch of people who are essentially not on a level that's much higher than you in any regards of life you don't really feel that drive or need to like become something else ever or just like really go out there and go for something maybe uh each individual person has their own like drive though but when it comes to the natural competition and way of comparison though you are going to kind of look at those around you and if you feel content with that uh those in your circle or those close to you then you're probably not going to feel the need to like really go out there and feel like you're falling behind uh at all so it's it's a really tricky area that you find yourself in so that's why i claim that she's like kind of the problem in all of this because he he has all these expectations in these things that like a lot of them are set from his own view of himself like directed towards her uh and how he kind of compares himself so it's like really unfortunate and and rough there but yeah he spends the most of the episode just kind of going through and, and struggling internal uh internally with all of that which kind of sucks of course for him but it is to be expected he ignores her he struggles to bringing himself to her or being around her uh it's just like how do you face somebody or something like that you made these boasts and these things and you can't even back them up and then you gotta be around the person who actively can go ahead and do all those things it's it's like what i said last episode too though where 
she's not the same age as him, right? She has gone through and she's done this. And while she might've had a more successful first year than he did, it still ended in failure and still didn't get her to the level that she actually wanted to. So it's those mistakes and those failures that you have that lead you to what you can actually grow into and become. And that's what he needs to kind of take on from here and learn. He failed a lot here, but if he can focus up and he can work hard and really have that that motivation like she ended up doing and, and getting up early and wanting to do that, uh, things will work out at the end of the day, right? And you can hopefully trust in yourself and your own ability and the things that you've done enough to get you to that point. That's that's all we can really hope for. Exams coming up. We get lots of different shots of the school. I just want to point out whoever this woman is here on the right side of the screen. I would like you to have your own anime because I am a big fan from <laughs> from this one one moment that we got. Okay, continuing on. Even he and his locked in. See, everybody's got a lot of stuff that they can do. He kind of brushes things off here, seeing Chinatsu acting like it motivates him and gets him really going, but he is still struggling to kind of get over it, and he wants to spend as little time like looking or thinking about her as he possibly can here. It's like when you break up with somebody, but you have to see them every day in school or something. You just kind of like stare, <laughs> like you, you struggle. You just want to avoid them, but like then they're everywhere and they're more noticeable what happens. How are you? Makes it. This could be good too for us, right? We get to learn and work with him and push him even harder. And we can get better working with somebody who has made it to nationals. So it could be really good. Uh, we have to make some goals and everybody puts on these big things. I want to make the nationals. I want to do all this stuff. And instead, Taiki's just like, I just want to increase my precision with that. So I actually really like this route a lot more than the big boast of I'm going to make it to nationals or I'm going to win nationals or I'm going to do something, right? Uh, Chinatsu talks him out of it a little bit and tells him how it's okay to have like this lofty goal at the end, at the end of the day, uh, which it is. But I think it just depends on the way that he wants to kind of view this. You can look at the big picture, right, where you're going to make it or want to make it to nationals. But and that's what like is driving you, maybe. But I kind of like the idea. I've always been the person who doesn't look at it like that. And I want to be like, I want to just look one step in ahead of me. You know what I mean? Like just not too far ahead, which is what's like one little thing that I can do to increase what I'm doing uh, and make me just a better player. OK, well, if I my precision of my smashes gets better, I become a better player instantly. And that gets me closer to that big picture goal that is nationals. So instead of looking, this is the big picture. I want to get to this. Uh, let me start uh, and then have to like backtrack and be like, what are the little steps I can do to get there? It's like, okay, well, if I do want to do that, let me just focus on the little steps along the way, which is exactly what he's kind of portraying here. But I guess if these are goals that you're essentially going to look back at like a year from now, uh, you probably want to put like the bigger goal because then it just feels a lot, a lot better. I don't know how to, how to really describe it. It's just the way that you like, write Like, long-term goal make nationals but like immediate goal i want to like improve these small areas in my game and i think that's that's really the probably smart way for you to go about it so i don't necessarily have a problem with anything that that he's writing here uh but i can see it from everybody's perspective i really love just the shots of chinatsu playing basketball she looks so cool when they do it i don't know what it is <laughs> it just looks so cool practicing late closed door let me avoid her i can't really bring myself to go out there and confront this and we have to go home because a buddy is a feeling sick. Honestly, I felt like a lot more happened throughout the episode, but I guess it I guess it really didn't. And we're still only at the halfway point of it, which is funny. I guess that conversation really did take up a lot. Everything just rushes to the brain. The moment that he had that second to sit back, relax, uh, and not have to like focus on exams and be distracted by these other things, everything just resurfaces and it hits him hard and he gets sick but look who's here to come for you i think this is a really sweet and fun conversation uh overall like just getting her to play this sort of role and take care of him but just have these conversations and the talk that they end up getting to have uh is fantastic her being a little bit concerned and seeing like and in, in, in knowing this is what i said too where it worked really well with having Hina be that person who was like first to really go to him and talk to him last time. But I think having somebody like Chinatsu would work a lot better due to the failures and the stuff that we do know she's gone through in the past. So now being able to like 
actively listen to somebody who has gone through this as well and kind of can relate and understand you on a certain level uh of that and knows what you're going through so she can kind of just see through this like little front that you're essentially putting up here and that's probably why she hasn't forced anything until this point this whole past week while you guys have been busy and had to focus and study and do all of this she ideally would be talking to you and wouldn't just like not have any conversation or any contact over this this time uh but probably has been giving you your space knowing that if she was in your shoes that's likely what she would have wanted instead tries to get him to switch up on exactly what he wants to do i think she has some good words uh and overall it's not the wrong thing at all for her to actually have i always had this voice in the back of my head there wasn't full confidence that's always there and he fully knows that as well but it's that drive that that failure that i went through it's that thing that made me want to get back there and be better is what got me up every single day and that's what makes it easy for to root for people like you who want to get up and actively want to do that. So become a person that we can want to root for, right? Until he tries to get up and do some stupid shit. Somehow she ends up directly on top of him, which is kind of crazy. They give us like the one fan service shot that we've gotten like in the whole show so far, which is kind of funny. Uh, kind of like a, not my favorite trope, but it's not the worst thing. Uh, and it just depends on what they decide to do and how they want to play this off. It's definitely not going to be as serious as they're trying to make it or dramatic but we'll see i go back and forth with hina and shinatsu i feel like all the time just like my overall feelings i like the playfulness between um hina and taiki i think i think like in an ideal world we take like the playfulness that is the relationship that he, he has with hina and then we take like all the other aspects of shinatsu and then we make like a perfect like being that, <laughs> that he can be with but that's why it like makes it kind of hard because hina's like this just like really cute fun thing for him to kind of be with and her to just joke around with him but she does get serious and like does care a lot at those certain moments and then shinatsu is just like perfect in like every other aspect so it makes you just kind of want to have like a two-in-one why not both, bro? Just fuck it. Go for go for that route. That's all I will have, though. I hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely did having a blast with the show. It's been really fun for me to watch. I will be back for the 10th episode. Hopefully tomorrow I can watch it, if not the next day. But I'm trying to hopefully by the end of this week, I have all these episodes caught back up and then we can start back on the old stuff again. Uh, but then we'll be on, on good pace going forward after I, I slept for a couple weeks. But sometimes you got to do it. You got to have that little reset, you know? So hopefully you enjoyed. If you liked it, I'll like and subscribe to my channel. Feel free to check out the channel. If you're coming to this video series, I'll be back for episode 10 very soon. I hope it's a great one. Peace.